in all circumstances this morning. Praising God will surely help strengthen us while we wait on him this morning. Hallelujah. It is a practical and a beneficial one way to express our faith in God and acknowledge him for who he is and for what he has done this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We all in waiting this morning. Whether to wait, whether waiting for an answer to our prayers, praise God, or waiting for someone, hallelujah, or waiting for a change, praise God, or perhaps waiting for our own return home this morning, Amen. hallelujah. Sometimes the wait is longer than we expected, but sometimes we do not anticipate what wait for happens sooner. For some people, waiting can be boring. They feel uncertain or reckless. Hence, they decide to take a shortcut. Praise God. Which unfortunately often lead to disappointment. And even worse is when people deliberately chose to commit sin because of impatience. Yes. As displayed by the Israelites, impatiently waiting for Moses at Mount Sinai. In our world today, waiting can be very challenging, yes. especially when the culture of the instant gratification and performance based on competition are exalted. People tend to dislike the idea of waiting this morning and delay. It often caused by fear of missing out and thus self-reliance manifested in extremely hard work and hard work because be hard work becomes short of the way of life. In contrast, scriptures teaches us to be patient, hopeful, and faithful in times of waiting. In moments like these, we have choice whether to draw near to God or draw away from Him. Amen. Giving praises to God is a practical and beneficial way that draws us closer to Him. In fact, praising God is one of the purposes have given us as believers this morning. Amen. Because we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people that he should show forth his praise of him who called us out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Amen. So therefore, as we wait, we are to praise God instead of committing sins. Thank you. Praising God while we wait on Him can strengthen our faith, yes. bring blessing and miracles in our life, encourage others, and obviously bring the light to Him. So we see here praising God, strength over faith. Abraham waited 25 years for the fulfillment of God's promise. Notice what he did while he was waiting. Abraham never wavered in believing God's promise. In fact, his faith grew stronger, and in this, he brought glory to God. He was fully convinced that God is able to do whatever he promises. The faith of Abraham this morning is our example. He gave glory to God. In other words, he praised God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He praised God while he was waiting for God to fulfill his promise to make him the father of many nations to his son Isaac. Abraham did not wait until the manifestation of God's miracle to praise him. Which otherwise does not require much faith. As we praise God this morning, we are reminded again of his greatness 
school about Paul and Silas in prison. Yes. They were thrown into prison with carefully guards after a wrong accusation. However, what happened next is remarkable. Paul set perfect example of why worshiping is so powerful. Amen. I think my child is hard, but can you imagine being in prison this morning? This is where Paul found, found himself. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the other prisoners were listening to them. And what happened next? Their worship caused such a vol a big earthquake that doors flew open and the prison door, the prisoners were released. Paul worship loose their chain, not just for him, but his worship impacted those around him. When the jailer realized the prison door were open, he drew his sword to kill himself. But Paul cried out, with a loud voice, do thyself no harm. So in desperation, the jailer asks the question, Sir, what must I do to be saved? So we see we are praising God. Yeah. So let's 